Hi, I'm Matt. This is my brother Johnny. No, today, I'll do my hair. what? I'll do my hair. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. This is my brother Johnny, and today we're restoring some axes. So as you can see, we got a bit of an axe collection going here. We thought rather than let them sit there get rusty, we thought we'd just show them some love and spend some time working on them. We thought we'd mix it up a little bit for this video, so we've chosen an axe each to work on, and we've put our own spin on it. Here's how we did it. Check it out, brothers make, hang up here in the corner. So I went for this little sort of miniature fireman's axe number, it was a pain in red. And Matt went for a bearded Bulgarian... Bulgarian axe, yeah, Bulgarian. I don't know, I don't know what makes it Bulgarian, but that's what it, that's what it was advertised on. And mine was really badly pitted, so chucked it in some white vinegar for 24 hours uh, and left it to soak and that got rid of most of the kind of the gunk on that. So we always pick up different axes, sometimes from car boots, sometimes online, Gumtree, eBay, things like that. Uh, and we just look for interesting shapes, interesting sizes, uh, and we just picked two that we really liked. So I don't want to damage any of that really nice texture and that kind of uh, look of the axe, so I just took some wire wheels to it, I didn't go in and edit with a grinder or anything, uh, and that way it kind of kept most of the character and stuff on the steel. So in terms of like, the metal work, this is the bit I really enjoyed. Because once you get to the sanding, it's quite a slow, laborious task. You don't really see a lot of change. It's, yeah. It takes a long time to get anywhere. But this bit, you can blast through, get rid of all the scratches, get rid of the dings. It comes out really nice. Always making sure we're keeping it cool in between. The angle grinder really heats things up quickly and that can lose the temper on the axe. So we've got a bucket of water there. Just keep chucking it in every, every couple, of, uh, couple of passes uh, and that just keeps it cool. Now my axe had some really bad pitting on the edge of the blade, so I went back to the disc sander and I just took that back to a nice clean edge and then I went back and uh, re-beveled the edge. So as you can see, we had quite a lot of sanding to get through. So we started off at 60 grit and worked all the way through to 3000 grit. He went through, he just went to go for a certain part of it. I decided to go for a whole sort of chrome finish, which I did sort of learn to regret by the end of it, because after about day three, I was, I was miserable, to be honest. <laughs> all worth it in the end, though. So at this point, I'm kind of at the high-end grits. I'm on about uh, 2,000, Johnny's still on about 60. Uh, so yeah, it definitely took longer for Johnny to get his done. We have learned though that the main thing we need in our shop now is a bell grinder. Absolutely. Because if we have one of those, this would be done in an evening, not <laughs> four and a half weeks. It wasn't four and a half weeks. Oh my. Cool. Got these new buffing pads just for the uh, pillar drill uh, and you chuck them on, you add a little bit of different compound, coarse, medium and then a fine. Um, I was really impressed with this actually, it really brought up the shine, got rid of a couple, few of the scratches and stuff. Pretty happy with that. So at this point, I moved on to the woodworking. Just freehand sketched a, uh, a handle shape that I liked. Found a few interest, uh, interesting images on Pinterest. Still, still plowing away. Getting a bit tired. That was a genuine yard. This, uh, this ash came from our friend Kingsley in the New Forest. He's got a uh, sawmill, and this is a really thick board. So I just thinned it down on the balance for a little bit. Did a little bit of shaping uh, before kind of using more more manual tools to do the actual rounding of the handle. You're almost there. Almost there. So it's a final final straight. 
that I think was the actual the final uh, 3,000 grit. Not bad. So you were pretty happy about that point to be done. So now it's time to just play a bit of catch up. Quickly buff it and boom! There is the money shot right there. So I based my handle upon uh, one of the existing handles we had already. So I really like the shape of it, did a sort of a rough trace and then exaggerated some of the curve. So we used uh, just manual tools. This is a spoke shave we used just to get rid of like the, the square corners. Uh, and we did that at the same time, hence the dual screen. We've just learned how to dual screen. Spent quite a long time shaping this to make sure that, that really snugly fit. Uh, it's quite tricky because they're quite specific shapes on these two axes, uh, but the spoke shape, nice and sharp spoke shape, make fairly quick work of that. So for me, it's just a case of going back, checking it, doing it again, because you really don't want to go too far with this. Just use an ash wedge for this. We cut it out the same board, and uh, yeah, just use a bit of wood glue to hammer it in, making sure that that axe head was seated really nice and firmly all the way down. Last step was just to add the bevel and we just used the grinding stone by hand with some oil just to keep it, uh, get it, get it lubricated nicely. So for now, the only fish we wanted to put on there was some boiled linseed oil. So just one cut on there, on the axe head well, as well as the handle. So there you go guys, we hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like down below and we'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought. We are going to be doing a part two to this video, so if you can see that, Make sure you click the subscribe button and click on the bell as well so you're notified when we upload it. It's just going to be showing you a few different ways that you can finish off your acts in a couple of different styles. Thanks a lot, guys. So, as you can see, we've got a bit of an app selection going here. Let's take you through a few. <laughs> Small oh, pointer. Sure seen this. <laughs> Big ruster. <laughs> My ears. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe the end. There's nine nails in it. <laughs> and they mounted the head on upside down. Seven. Um, Are you good now? <laughs>